flip the pages of my life Every line that I write as I make history You can see me, you can see me, you can see me Thank you so much for staying with us. If you are now joining us, you are tuned in to Open Book. And we are inside the centerfold with the beautiful woman of the morning. Why, why is she looking around? <laughs> I was looking. I, I was, I was. We were talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm looking for, the laugh. <laughs> and the kiss, and the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joanne Noel of W1071. And it is a pleasure for us to have you in the centerfold, Joanne. Oh, Thank you. It was a pleasure. I was wondering, I mean, when was it going to happen? <laughs> Listen, don't make this lady make you all feel. She was asked quite a number of times. So it's just good to be here. Yes, thank it's you for taking the time to be here. How was your day? Yeah. It was great. I always have great days. Yes, yeah, so I accept that whatever comes mm -hmm. is either a lesson or a blessing or something. So or something. I, I, or something from God. So I just have a good day or ball. Yeah. So Joe, we mm -hmm. mostly know you um, from Open Bible, even mm -hmm. before you know you got onto W One or Seven One, mm -hmm. and um, so now we know you from media. Mm -hmm. How does um, and how, how are you able to balance your position at Open Bible and W1071? Well, the thing about it is because of the great leadership that we have, mm -hmm. um, I was put in a position at Open Bible to actually do media. Mm -hmm. I was communications officer. I worked there for 20 years. I was communications officer for about 10 years. So it was a smooth flow. I used to do all the TV, radio mm -hmm. ads, write um, formats for programs that we were having. Mm -hmm. So it was very simple and, and Pastor released me lovingly mm -hmm. to do what I knew was God's calling for me. So you, right, so you understood that media was your calling? Oh, from early. The thing is that uh, when you grow up with a grandmother mm -hmm. who when you're three and you say, I want three plums, and she says, three? Guava or pomerang? And I said, ah, and she says, three, and I said, fadi, fadi. <laughs> when you're four years old and you're going, fadi, <laughs> you know, you know there's something yes. there. Because she was a teacher, mm -hmm. all my family. So she was a stickler for English and oh, pronunciation. Please, and everything, everything. Mm -hmm. So I thank her. Then I didn't thank her, you know, no. I was like, oh, he's up. Yeah. But no, mm -hmm. it's, it's just natural. And then I told my father very early on that I wanted to do broadcasting and journalism. Mm -hmm. He said, you could do better. And, um, well, what, the, what did he mean by He better? meant that we, at that time, mm -hmm. there were other um, newspapers mm -hmm. that he didn't think were quite integritous. Okay. So he was thinking, no, no I'm not letting you get involved in, in all of that, right. you know. Right. Uh, but, but I think eventually he understood, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Christian media. Mm -hmm. Were you always in Christian media or did you um, work in secular media as well? No. When I started, I worked at a radio station that actually did pop music. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I introduced, I started to introduce, I said, let me introduce these positive songs to you all. Mm -hmm. And by the time I left there, it was almost 65% mm -hmm. gospel music. And then I worked at uh, Isaac for a while mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Thomas. Mm -hmm. who's a needler, mm -hmm. who's a stickler, mm -hmm. kept calling me, mm -hmm. Joe, what you doing now? I, I work in so, 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 all right, good. Joe, what you doing now? I'm studying. Joe, what you doing now? And he hounded me <laughs> relentlessly <laughs> until he said, I have something coming up. I have something yeah. for you. Let's do this. You Excellent. Know? So it was a progression. So I have this question I love to ask. Did you come out of your mother singing, glory, hallelujah, praise you, Jesus? Of course I did. <laughs> Is that so why it is not the light? That's my halo. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so did you see angels? Of course not. I, I actually didn't talk a lot when I was younger. Okay. Um, no, I, I came out. Um, I was so quiet and my brother and I were so close mm -hmm. that mom used to forget to feed me. Greedy brother. Oh, she, wow. Because he would be bawling and make him. I would just be satisfied with my thumb uh -huh. and suck my thumb. And she would pass later on into the both of us in the crib and say, wait, no. That's when we were twin? No, but he was like months older. Oh, okay. Or oh, a year or so. Uh, mm -hmm. And she would say, wait now, this child ain't get food yet because I was just sad. So I was always very reserved. Um, my life was very exciting. Mm -hmm. I knew about God through circumstances, like most of us. Okay. You know, okay. Um, separation in the family, divorce, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. that kind of thing, mm -hmm. missing my dad. Mm -hmm. So I knew about it, having a mother who worked so hard, mm -hmm. but she would always tell us things like, you know, always give. Mm -hmm. If you give, you will get. Yeah. You would actually come home and realize you have one blow dry or kulna instead of three. And mommy said, well, the people down the road wanted one, and I know you don't need three. So yeah. my mother gave, yeah. and she taught us to believe. If yeah. anything hard happened, she said, let's kneel down and pray. Mm -hmm. So, you know, coming up, I knew, but no, 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 I, I, I didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know. My, my so, halo. so, what is your salvation story in a nutshell? Mm. In a nutshell, I think I, I came to the Lord at about 14 mm -hmm. in a small gathering. I played the tambourine, I ushered, I picked up offering. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I sang too, but it was that, that kind of small thing. Oh my gosh, and I did not know you can sing. Thing like that when Helen Baylor called you on stage, I was blown away. I was like, Oh my gosh, she could sing. You need a manager. <laughs> well, I'm shocking you. <laughs> no, I make a joyful noise. I Amen. make a joyful noise. And the Lord anoints people's ear to receive it as good signs. <laughs> so how do you feel, mm -hmm. um, you know, being popular, being no, a public? Let me, let me say that I, I did not stay at 14. Okay. I came back to the Lord in my 20s. My mother didn't, um, she looked at the situation mm -hmm. and she thought that I was just going too quickly. I didn't know what it was about. Mm -hmm. But when I came back, it was, God came for me. Mm -hmm. And it was a perfect time. Mm -hmm. And since my 20s, to 30 years after, mm -hmm. I, yeah, to 30 years after, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love the Lord. So how do you feel as a public, a Christian public figure, working in a Christian environment? Mm -hmm. You know, because people see you, people, even secular people. You know, I, I don't like to use the word secular, but it's a word there to be Pre used. Pre-Christians. Pre-Christians. <laughs> I love that. Pre-Christians. Pre Pre <laughs> <laughs> you know, and... They say, oh my gosh, she's a diva, or oh my gosh, she's a sweet person, or oh my gosh. What's How do you it? deal with being a Christian in, in, in public, in the public domain? Well, it was scarier because mm -hmm. I would be walking down the road and somebody said, Joanne Noel. And I'd stop and look around and say, where did we meet? Where you went to school? What should you go to? Where mm -hmm. did you work? Patrick Trent? Mm -hmm. I worked at Patrick. And they'll be like, no, aren't you on the radio? I say, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know no. me? So even up to today, and I'm glad. I think mm -hmm. because it happened at this time, uh, it's God's perfect timing, and I've already grown now. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like growing up in the position. I'm already grown, and I know my purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for the listeners. I love them. I mean, they keep me company every day. Yes. But I, I still view it as whatever I do has to be unto God because I've learned that people could heal you one day mm -hmm. and nail you the next. That's what they did to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't go around going, hey, I'm it, I'm it. Yeah. And the next day you're not it. Yes. So yes. I, I have learned to, yes. to deal with that, you know. Okay, so I usually ask hard questions. Are you married? No. You are very beautiful. Do you have men falling as you walk out of W one or seven? You know, laying red cloth for you to walk on. How does that work out? Not as yet. No, you, I mean, you put that in my mind. No. So I'm wondering, what's wrong? Where's the red cloth? <laughs> red <laughs> roses. No, no. I think um, I've been told. I don't know why that I'm sometimes intimidating mm -hmm. but anybody mm -hmm. who knows what they're doing and who's happy mm -hmm. and who's going somewhere mm -hmm. will intim intimidate people it's not a bad thing mm -hmm. but people sometimes think if they step to you mm -hmm. um you know you don't look like you would need you need anything you know mm -hmm. but it's not true everybody needs companionship yes i thank god for the men i have lots of men in my life mm -hmm. if my car gets trouble i could call take that in the right way please <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I have mm -hmm. a lot of fathers yeah. and brothers mm -hmm. and, you know, I just say, I'm here and I knock somewhere yes. and they take my car and bring it back. Mm -hmm. Brother Radle and the church, Brother Patrick Seely, you now Brother Blues, a whole lot of men mm -hmm. who are just, so I don't miss, you know, like right. say, if I had a husband, no, when I get that, it is just a matter, oh, I love you, you love me, it's just fun, fun, fun. Let's go. <laughs> Just doing what, what God, we come together to accomplish Joe, something. you are working on a project. Mm. And I need you to share that with us. Um, and invite us to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what the project that I'm working on is uh, 
Save Our Children. Save Our Children. And the NGO that I'm launching is called A Place in the Sun. I, I a love Place it. in the S O N. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I I know that had I started on the track that I that I should have mm -hmm. very early on, mm -hmm. I would have gone further mm -hmm. and faster. Mm -hmm. So when I look at young girls mm -hmm. and I see them whining or showing themselves, I I say they think that is the the limit. That is that is all they can do. All I have is my body or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I see them not achieving and I see and I hear they're so brilliant. Mm -hmm. When I talk to them and they're brilliant, mm -hmm. it saddens me. So I passed by my primary school a couple of times and wept. I'm passing by and saying, what is going to happen to these girls, if not me? Right. And I started the foundation by going to them between SEA and, um, and secondary school now. Mm -hmm. And I've started working with them to deal with their self-esteem, to deal with career choices, with vision boards. Mm -hmm. And for the month of August, we're having a parenting mm -hmm. seminar. Mm -hmm. And we're also launching the NGO and we're having a camp Can for we girls. find info on Facebook? You can. Uh, go to the Save, Save Our Children Facebook page mm -hmm. and uh, also on my page, Joanne mm -hmm. Noel. Also, we're receiving donations. I got the brilliant I did it if a thousand people mm -hmm. or five hundred people give one hundred dollars mm -hmm. that that will take care of the camp for the girls. Mm -hmm. One of the girls came to me and said, after I shared, she laughed with her friends and she ran up after me and said, Auntie, we have to pay. And of course yeah. I cried. Yeah. And then I went to her and said, Lord, they can't pay. Yeah, you know, so if everybody does a little bit, mm -hmm. we're gonna get those girls. And I just can't wait to see what those girls turn out to be. I call them my girls, mm -hmm. but they're all our girls. Yeah. yeah. Well I pray in the name of Jesus that that works out. Thank you so much for being here with us. Stay with us, guys. We'll be right back inside the center fold. <laughs>